I started cutting hair when I was 18. Um, I graduated high school in San Diego, California. Generally what I do is I travel on weekends all over the United States and I teach, I do hair shows. Now, but mainly I do a lot of video shoots. So I met Mark about two years ago. We did a, an event in the, in the States for Hairbrained. And over the past couple of years, we've kind of done a bunch of different little things in the States together. You know, it's an honor to come over to England and uh, to get to cut hair with Mark at his farm. When I am teaching, I want people to to take something away that they can just do it the next day in the salon. Yeah. They don't have to be baffled by it, you know. It's practical. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's usable. And that's what I like about your work. Yeah. Knowledge destroys fear. Knowledge destroys fear. I mean, yeah. it's true. Yeah, we have a kind of philosophy that we want the texture to be quite natural. We yeah. want the perimeter shape to be quite strong and we want the hair to move inside. Right. And then we want to we want to teach our people to finish hair in the way that a session hairdresser would for a magazine. You do a lot of travelling as well in, yeah. in, inside America. You go, yeah. go from west coast to east coast, and mm -hmm. south and yeah. north. And you see a lot of different, you know, culture there and different environments. So it's it's quite cool to go all over because it's such a big place. You know what I mean? And coming to the factory it was a bit, you know, a bit like similar vibe to our studio, where you've you've made it so it's a creative yeah. place. All my career, I've got something out of working next to the hairdressers, you know, whether it's in the salon. Or, you know, I think that's key. I mean, that's where you kind of build your character is from taking from all the different people that you work with. Watching you film three haircuts a day and put those out for free. It's quite a powerful thing. But to me, in America, there's millions of educators, but you know, there's a handful of really solid, great ones that are constantly putting out um, strong messages, uh, and you know, I think that's important for the future, the future of the industry. It's funny, you know, because one of one of the things people always say to me is, "Oh, why have you done this right out in the middle of the countryside?" You know, when you know, electric's always been in central London. Um, for me, it's really trying to tie all the things together. I thought, well, if we had a farm where we could source some of those raw materials, you know, the stuff that's actually going into the product. But I'm really looking forward to people from other countries. Uh, kind of experience. It. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's quite an experience. And you know, especially where I live in North America, like, no one gets to see anything like that. It's what a great place for them to come to. Take one of the products we're making, we've been trying to make a, a seed spray for about two years now. You right. know, a, a kind of salt orientated but sodium chloride free uh, seed spray. And it turns out, you know, we've got the chalk of the white cliffs right. and, it's, and it's here. You know, we can, we can take some of the minerals from that and put it into the product. The product for us was all about performing on the hair and making it happen. And as we've learned more about it, yeah. you know, in, nine years ago for me when we started, it was just all about all the residue of that day in a session with our stylist tool. Now it's about making all those things happen, but using active English ingredients yeah, that we can cool. source. product lines out there, yeah. you know, and, and in truth, there's people with a lot more uh, resources to promote their brands than we've got, right. but what we've got is something really good and good people yeah. doing doing the, the hair yeah. and the product development side. So for me, if we can bring people to a place like this, it, it just gives us something different.